the PVA bag in the water to show you how it dissolves. Let me show you the application on using the goo. Now this is my all time favorite, Outrageous Orange. So I've got a tiger nut. So what I do with the Outrageous Orange, I literally just add a bit on the outside of the tiger nut, like that. And that's pretty much it. And then just for a little bit of luck, I put a tiny amount on the PVA bag, like that. Now I've got a trick for the competitive car prize. I made this rig earlier on. I showed you how to put the PVA bag through. Now I'm going to be using a bit of the Isotonic Supreme and I'm going to just dab it on the bait itself and a small amount on the bag but it doesn't stay there pineapple power smoke i'm literally going to just flood the bag and let it sink in amazing quality another trick for you guys i've got a 50 50 frutella pop-up on that pva bag so I'm going to be using the sherbet goo and I'm literally just going to put a bit on the bait itself like that and just add it on like so. The lovely thing with the sherbet is that it actually stays on the bait for quite long but I'm going to mix it with the outrageous orange. This is a good trick. Give it a bash. Now for the serious monster carp guys out there. I've already given you the trick with the PVA bag on a pop-up. But give it some extra flavor. The krill goo. Just add it on the outside of the pop-up and put a bit on the bag and if you really want to put a little bit in that hole let it soak in it really gives you that edge that no one else has a further trick by using a solid bag is take just a sharp object and punch a couple of holes in like that it just makes that bag dissolve so much better but Take a little bit of Manganana Supreme, push it in, like so, and let it really, really go into the bag. Another edge.